Tesla's $30,000 cyber cab is operating right now on public roads in Austin and San Francisco. 135 units, 550,000 miles driven, zero steering wheels, completely unsupervised. Waymo, after announcing their steering wheel free Zeker partnership in December 2021, five years later, not a single unit without a wheel has hit the streets. Every test vehicle still has one. Here's what's shocking. Waymo's vehicles cost $200,000 each. Tesla plans two to four million cyber cabs by 2026 at under $30,000. So the real question is, can a company that couldn't deliver one steering wheel free car in five years actually compete with Tesla's mass production machine? December 2021, Waymo and Zeker announced a revolutionary robotaxi no driver's seat, no steering wheel, no pedals. A completely reimagined passenger cabin designed for autonomous transportation. The timeline? Commercial deployment by 2026. Fast forward to today. Where are those vehicles? The Waymo units currently being tested on San Francisco streets still have steering wheels. Every single one. After five years since that announcement and over a decade of total autonomous development, Waymo hasn't put a single steering wheel free vehicle on public streets, not for testing, not even for demonstrations. Meanwhile, Tesla's cyber cab announced less than a year ago is already carrying real passengers in Austin and San Francisco with zero steering wheels and no safety monitors. The contrast couldn't be starker. This gap reveals the difference between announcing technology at press conferences and actually delivering it on real streets. Here's where things get uncomfortable for Waymo investors. Each of their current robo-taxes costs approximately $200,000 to manufacture. At that price point, this isn't a sustainable business model. This is an expensive research project. You cannot build a mass transportation network when each vehicle costs as much as a luxury home. Tesla's target? Under $30,000 per cyber cab at full production scale. Musk announced plans for 2 to 4 million units with mass production beginning April 2026 at a dedicated factory. Even if Tesla hits half that target, they'd flood the market with more autonomous vehicles in one year than Waymo could produce in a decade. But here's what should terrify Waymo investors. Tesla isn't just theoretically cheaper, they're already operating. The fleet stands at 135 units, but those vehicles have accumulated 550,000 miles of completely unsupervised autonomous driving in real conditions. In less than six months, Tesla is proving what Waymo spent 10 years attempting, that fully autonomous vehicles can function safely without the safety theater of a steering wheel just in case. Independent observers are documenting Waymo's fundamental errors daily. Vehicles crossing double yellow lines into oncoming traffic, forgetting turn signals. In one incident, a Waymo vehicle activated its left turn signal when turning right into a shopping center. Think about that. A vehicle representing the cutting edge of A, I cannot distinguish left from right in a basic parking lot maneuver after more than 10 years of development. Every technology has bugs, that's expected. But there's a difference between occasional edge cases and systematic failures in common scenarios. When your robo-taxi routinely crosses lane boundaries or enters wrong lanes during normal operation, that's not a bug. That's a fundamental problem with how your system understands the road. Project this forward. Multiply these error rates across 10,000 vehicles operating daily. How many accidents per day would that generate? Waymo supporters claim they're being cautious and iterating carefully. But here's the question. If you've spent a decade being cautious and still can't eliminate basic lane-keeping errors, what does that say about your approach? The full self-driving system in those cyber cabs isn't new experimental software. It's built on over a decade of real-world data from millions of Tesla vehicles driving billions of miles on actual roads, not pre-mapped test routes. That data advantage compounds over time. Waymo's system relies on pre-mapped environments and high-definition maps of specific areas. Tesla's approach works anywhere. We're seeing this in videos showing cyber cabs navigating apartment parking lots, finding parking spaces, entering driveways, environments they've never seen before that aren't on any map. Waymo cannot do this. Their architecture needs internet connectivity and pre-mapped data to function. 
Tesla's system processes the environment in real time using neural networks like human vision. This is why NHTSA just approved Tesla's steering wheel free design for 2026 production. Tesla is the only U.S. automaker with that authorization. Consider what that means. Government regulators examined Tesla's safety data, evaluated performance across hundreds of thousands of miles, reviewed production plans, and said yes, this is ready for public deployment without manual controls. Waymo, after all these years, hasn't achieved that milestone. Even leading Chinese robo-taxi platforms, Baidu Apollo, WeRide, Pony.ai, Momenta, aren't at Tesla's level yet. This matters because China has been aggressively pushing autonomous development with massive government support and fewer regulatory restrictions. If they had a clear technological lead, they'd be deploying at massive scale already, but they're not. The hard part isn't building one autonomous vehicle that works in controlled conditions. The challenge is building a system that works everywhere, in all conditions, without expensive LiDAR and pre-mapping requirements. Tesla bet everything on vision-based autonomy, processing the world like humans do, using cameras and neural networks. Yes, there are issues to refine. The system occasionally breaks harder than necessary. It's optimizing decision timing in complex scenarios. But these are refinement problems, not fundamental failures. That's the difference. Waymo is trying to solve fundamental problems with how their system understands driving. Tesla is optimizing a system that already works. The CyberCab's recent design refinements aren't cosmetic. They're strategic cost optimizations, making Tesla's $30,000 target achievable. Frameless doors reduce parts count, material costs, and assembly time. This also cuts tolerance complexity, meaning fewer alignment errors, less rework, fewer warranty claims. One design decision saves money at manufacturing, quality control, and service stages. Earlier prototypes had decorative gold tire accents. They're gone. Even at $1 per tire, that's $4 per vehicle. At 1 million vehicles yearly, that's $4 million annually, $40 million over a decade. The new tires are simpler, more durable, cheaper to produce, and last longer. Trunk redesign replaced fabric with molded plastic. Injection molded plastic is cheaper at scale, faster to install, far more durable. Fabric wears out, stains, tears, absorbs moisture, all leading to higher refurbishment costs in vehicles completing hundreds of weekly rides. Upgraded seats impact operational economics significantly. Earlier prototypes were basic. Refined seats are more durable while staying utilitarian. In high-mileage fleet vehicles, seat durability directly affects costs. Better construction extends life, reduces downtime, lowers maintenance expenses. At millions of vehicle years, small durability improvements save tens of millions. Camera positioning seems minor, but matters enormously. By keeping the front camera unobstructed when doors open, Tesla eliminates redundant sensors. Sensors are expensive to purchase, calibrate, maintain and replace. Proper positioning simplifies system logic, reduces hardware redundancy, lowers upfront and lifetime costs. The two-seat configuration is deliberate cost control. Each additional seat requires more airbags, seat belts, sensors, structural reinforcement to meet safety regulations. Each addition increases cost without increasing value when most trips involve one or two passengers. Tesla isn't saving money through one dramatic breakthrough. They're accumulating thousands of small optimizations that compound over time. At two to four million vehicles, every $10 saved per unit equals 20 to $40 million annually. These aren't theoretical. They're the difference between profitable business and expensive research. Waymo justifies $200,000 vehicles that need steering wheels. Tesla refines a sub $30,000 design already operating without them. That's not competition. That's two different business models. The Cybertruck's structural battery breakthrough proves Tesla's manufacturing philosophy works at scale and lessons transfer directly to CyberCab production. Traditional EVs bolt battery packs into chassis like dead weight. Tesla's structural battery is an active load-bearing element integrated into the vehicle's body structure. The result, stiffer, safer, lighter, more efficient. This works with Giga casting technology, 
Enormous aluminum castings replace hundreds of individual parts. The Cybertruck recently earned recognition as the safest pickup truck available, outperforming the Ford F-150 in crash safety. The battery isn't a vulnerability, it's a safety asset improving crash performance. Here's why this matters. Tesla is proving they can integrate structural batteries into mass manufacturing. Every refinement perfected on Cybertruck production transfers to Cybercab manufacturing. They're not just designing autonomous taxis, they're building manufacturing systems to produce millions profitably. With Ford stepping back from the fully electric F-150 Lightning and pivoting to hybrids, Tesla faces dramatically less direct competition. The autonomous race was never about who announces first. It's about who manufactures at volume profitably. Waymo cannot match Tesla's manufacturing capacity. They don't operate gigafactories. They haven't developed structural battery technology. They don't have 10 years of real-world FSD data from millions of vehicles. Most critically, they don't have any path to sub-$50,000 production costs, much less $30,000. When you see a Waymo vehicle today, steering wheel, $200,000 cost, operates only in pre-mapped areas. When you see a Tesla Cybercab, no steering wheel, under $30,000 target, works anywhere without pre-mapping, already carrying real passengers and revenue service. The question isn't whether autonomous vehicles are coming. It's which approach will scale to millions of vehicles and transform transportation. Based on what we're seeing, that answer is becoming clear. So here's the answer to our opening question. Can a company that couldn't deliver one steering wheel free car in five years compete with Tesla's mass production machine? The evidence speaks for itself. They're not competing. They're operating in completely different universes. Waymo. Five years, zero steering wheel free vehicles on streets, $200,000 per unit. Tesla. Six months, 135 cyber cabs operating unsupervised, 550,000 real miles driven, $30,000 target price, two to four million unit production plan by April 2026. This is the moment where autonomous transportation splits into two paths. One company makes announcements and expensive prototypes. The other builds factories and delivers at scale. The gap isn't closing, it's accelerating. And we're just 16 months away from Tesla's mass production launch. That's when this industry changes forever. So here's my question for you. When those 2 million cyber cabs hit the streets at a fraction of Waymo's cost, what happens to the competition? Drop your prediction in the comments below. If this analysis helped you understand what's really happening in the autonomous vehicle race, hit that like button. Subscribe to Tesla Zone for more in-depth breakdowns of the technologies reshaping transportation. And turn on notifications so you don't miss what comes next, because April 2026 is closer than you think. This is Tesla Zone. The autonomous revolution isn't coming. It's already here. What if I told you a $30,000 investment could generate $2,000 every single month without you lifting a finger? Sounds like a scam, right? But Elon Musk just leaked the math behind Tesla Bot Gen 3, and Wall Street analysts are calling it the most underpriced asset of the decade. Morgan Stanley claims each unit could deliver $200,000 in net present value by replacing two full-time workers at $5 per hour. While you sleep, it works factory shifts, cleans offices, handles logistics. The robot doesn't call in sick, doesn't demand raises, never quits. Here's the part nobody's talking about. This isn't just about owning a helper. It's about owning a workforce of one that pays you back in just 15 months, then prints pure profit for years. But can a robot really cook your breakfast, guard your home, and fund your retirement? The answer might change how you think about money forever. Let's break down exactly how this $30,000 robot turns into a cash-generating asset. Because the numbers Musk leaked aren't just impressive, they're economically disruptive in ways most people haven't fully grasped yet. Morgan Stanley analyst Adam Jonas didn't pull the $200,000 valuation out of thin air. He calculated that one optimist working at an operational 